Welcome back everybody to Fluff Puff Peaks. I'm a helmet guy. This is level two of Super Mario Wonder. Let me just give you a quick update where we are. So we're gonna talk to Poplin. So he says, you can see it's blocked. I can't make it up. What is going on? So we have to defeat the Piranha. So the path to climb the summit is being blocked right now. You need nine Wonder Seeds. Um, he says it'd be nice if we could go up there again. Of course he wants to go up there. So let's help him out. And all we're going to do is enter here. And we are just going to dominate this level real quick. Come on in. Peach, what level is this? Up and down with puffy lifts. I'm down with that. Let's go. All right, difficulty level two. You could select your badge right now. The badge is floating high jump, so you're jumping higher. They did just give us this badge, so I'm going to keep checking that out to see if that's going to help me. So you can see how I jump a little bit higher. Um, typically I'm using, all right, we're going to start that one over. Typically I've been using the parachute badge. Okay. So it looks like the cake shrinks if something's on it. So you can see there how, if I jump, it goes up. So we want to go up here cause we want to be able to get on top of this block. And the main reason is I want to see if there's anything up here at the beginning. It looks like it was just coins, including a purple coin. Um, so nothing to be too worried about. When I have the parachute, it's a little bit easier to jump and just move on. You can see here's our first purple coin. We know that if we break these blocks, we can easily move down that cake and get our first purple coin. That's purple coin number one. Excuse me. Boom. Um, here we have a random question mark. And what we're gonna wanna do is get a turtle shell and shoot at this question mark because we wanna see what it has underneath of it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shoot him, excuse you, I'm gonna shoot him this way. Haha, <laughs> I thought this was a wall. Okay, well, whatever. We'll go back here and we'll get him again. And it's all of that is just for one coin. Totally not worth your time. Now you see when I'm coming down here at the top of this one, it looks like there's that golden glow up there. So what you want to be able to do if you can is jump on this turtle's head. And all you really get is two purple coins. Not worth your time. Unless you're collecting purple coins and you want to be buying stuff. I guess, I guess that helps, but nothing for me to really want there. Okay, so this is gonna be a level where you're gonna float up. This is probably gonna be an area where you're gonna get your second purple coin. Um, three, so you have to hit that bubble three times. One, two, three. Really? Nothing? That was stupid. Honestly, that was kind of a waste. All right, let's see if there's anything down here. Oh, okay. See what happens if you bring this all the way down. You can really just, looks like there's a glow here. So this glow here, it doesn't look like there's much of anything I can do with it on my own. I don't know if maybe if that ball goes on it, if, uh, if that would do anything. So let's hold this here and see if a ball coming down does anything here. Yep, there you go. Okay, so make sure you bring that ball all the way down to land into that golden spot because that's the only way you're gonna get that second purple coin. Um, so that's a big one right there because I don't think many people are gonna sit there and try and bring these blocks down. So in order to get in there, I'm going to need to bring this one down while having the turtle shell but we're also tiny, so be careful with that. Okay, so we were able to bring that down and in here there is the two blue flowers. Typically when you touch the blue flowers, something cool happens. There they just gave you a couple little purple coins. Um, nothing too major there. And I don't know if, 
Having the little high jump has been helping me much this round, maybe, because if you look here, um, there's a question mark up there, which you could have, you could get just when that cake, I guess I want to call this like a cake, when that cake came back, I could have just got up there. So no big deal with that one. Now what's interesting here for me is that they have this purple coin here. It makes me think maybe there's something down there worth exploring. Um, one way to do that, let's see if we can pick him up, is to just shoot a shell. Uh, and nothing happened. So I'm not going to jump down there right now because you would really just be sacrificing your your life there. Um, it may work. It may not. Uh, it's not something I'm going to do in my first round here. If I miss something, then I know I got to come back. Ooh, look at that. Okay. So we need to keep everybody off of this thing here so we can get up there. And I don't know exactly why, but it looks like there's something up here. See what it gives us. Okay, so if you weren't careful enough to go all the way up, you're going to miss out on basically your wonder seed. So you wanna come up here and jump on this one here and you'll go into the wonder seed level. Everything gets flipped around. You are a cake. What? That's interesting. Can I? I don't know if I can uh, break these balls up that are falling at us. So, oh yeah, I can. Okay, neat. So the cake can just basically destroy things. Boom, boom, nice. So there's no real way of dying here, I guess, when you're the cake. Um, but you want to be able, oh, okay. So there is a way of dying. So we found the only way of die. So if a ball crushes you as the cake, then you are going to die. So keep that in mind. That's good exploring. Now we know up here is gonna be a mushroom at least. And I don't think there was, I think this was just water in here. Yeah, nothing there. Uh, so we're gonna go back up into that area where we were the cake so we could get our wonder seed. It's interesting how the cakes just pop like that. So that's good to know. If you're, if you're not careful, you will die as the cake. Not the end of the world because you could just start over. We hit that halfway point. But at the same time, I'm getting more and more difficult to get up there. There we go. Let's get this wonder seed the first time this time. I'm not gonna mess around too much. I know that I could crush those balls as long as they don't land on my head. No big deal. Push them off to the side and just make them explode. We'll take him out over here. Boom! Boom! Get out of here! Yeah. Um, you could get this coin if you really want it. I don't, I don't know that it really matters. I have like 800 of those coins. The key though is getting the wonder seed. So we need this to go the other way. Okay, so let's start from here. Okay. There you go. So we'll get our wonder seed. We'll just go back down there. We get the wonder seed. Not too hard to obtain. Just remember, you cannot let them fall on your head. Wonder seed. So we've got our first wonder seed in this level. Now we could just go back out. We exit out. Or we don't. I guess I had to go to the right there. Let's be careful there's no more fallen blocks. Is there anything up here? Nothing up here. We need one more purple coin before we can complete this level fully. Ah, he said, nice job. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, they did great back there. I appreciate it. They want to just make sure that I fall all the way. I get it. And there we go. We need this mushroom. I saw the other purple coin to the right. Not seeing too much else going on in the level, so I have to be able to get down there and grab it. So you could do this one of two ways. If you're cool with jumping down there, you can do that. Or you could just... These turtles are killing me. I was just say you could shoot a turtle at it. This is the part where if you play with a partner, 
it's gonna make your life a lot easier. So you got two options here. If you're struggling with it like I just did, you can um, really just sacrifice one of your lives, jump and get it, you know that you've completed it. Then when the level's over, you'll already have it. Uh, let's see if we could get it without sacrificing ourselves, though. The nice part is you don't have to redo stuff. Like, I don't have to go back up there and re-earn anything. Okay, we'll hold on to him. Actually, we'll grab him this time. Yep, so there you go. That's how you get it without, uh, without dying. I don't know why these are up here. Can you spring up? Oh, nope. Okay. I thought maybe I could spring up. Oh, this one's fancy. Oh, no. Okay. So be careful here because you want to make sure you get to the top of the pole. So make sure you are paying attention. Yes. Boom. That way you can get full completion because the last thing I want to do is have to come back into this level to get full completion just by jumping to the top of the pole. So there you have it. Course clear. This is uh, up and down, up and down with the puff lifts, I think it was called. So that's a pretty fun level. Up and down with puff lifts, that's right. Fun level, there's a lot going on, a lot to explore, a lot to conquer, a lot of opportunity to mess up in that level though. So you can see we got that green check mark. And so let's move up and see what's going on. This one says nearly there. We've almost reached the summit. The journey ahead is more perilous. Stop by the Poplin shop for supplies. I thought we hit that poplin shop up, so I'm not going to look too much. Let's see what's going on here. Ooh, what do you want, buddy? Why is he laughing at us? <clears throat> what is that? Bowser. Why Bowser? Do we have to face Bowser here? Can I skip him? Fluff Puff Peaks Flying Battleship. Here we go. The next level is Fluff Puff Peaks Flying Battleship. This one's a level three. I'm gonna stick with my badge, which lets you jump a little bit higher. So we're going to see if that helps me in this level here. This is a classic, playing in like these battleships. Very Mario. Love it. Ah! I mean, fireworks. That's wild. Okay, so these are fireworks right here. So just be careful with them. See? Oh, so if you put them underneath stuff, it'll shoot them down for you too. That's cool. I like that. Make sure you line it up properly. So we're going to wait. There we go. So he hit everything for us. It just gave us an extra couple coins. Nothing... Uh, Nothing too impressive. So it looked like there was stuff up here. Just purple coins. Oh, it was a big purple coin. So that was our first of the three big purple coins. So keep that in mind. You got to float across the top. And I couldn't get up there. So I don't know if I can't get up there. Can this guy pop it for me? Okay, so he could break it. So you could get these blue flowers. And the blue flowers are just dropping some more coins. So nothing. I don't know. Is that where they're popping out of down there? I don't know if you could go down that thing. Hopefully you couldn't go down that one. I didn't get to try it. We might have to come back for it. Boom. All right, so you could tell that you were able to go up that warp pipe just based on um, it being blocked. Oh, you can hold it. You don't even, I wasn't getting shot at all. It's just watch this. That's good to know. Like you could carry it and it doesn't hurt you. Now, if I was carrying a firework and shooting it off, <coughs> I'm sure that would hurt. Now, if you guys are enjoying uh, Super Mario Wonder, make sure you take a moment to subscribe and turn on your bell notification. That way you could keep up with really where I am in the different levels. Right now we're on Fluff Puff Peak. Ooh, I gotta get up there because I gotta get this. Oh, come back, buddy. No! There we go. I am in Fluff Puff Peak. We are trying to dominate this level right here. It's of utmost importance for us to, oh, I can't get in here. What's this thing? Oh, that's something shooting at me. Okay, 
Never mind. You don't want to wait for that. That is like a... Uh, look, it's like a target. They're putting a target on me, so be careful with that. I thought it was something that was going to help me. <laughs> nope. <laughs> not helpful. It's not helpful to get blasted by the laser. Oh, that was neat. All right, so we want the laser to blast right here so we could get our wonder seed. That is going to be our wonder seed. You have to, <coughs> excuse me, you have to use the blaster to your advantage. Now, I don't know how many purple coins I've gotten. I feel like I've only gotten one so far. There's three in every level, and we've gotten one. Let me check this out. It's more coins. Oh, okay. All right, oh, so that changed. So you're shooting a bomb. So... What's this guy doing? He's pushing things to the side. It would be nice if he could push this, because sometimes I feel like if you push these things over, um, we just hit a flag, so no worries. I'm gonna stick with the floating high jump. I do feel like the floating high jump makes a lot of sense in Fluff Puff Peaks. There we go, I need that. Now, I don't know if you could get him on the other side. Can I pick him up? No. Okay, so I could just jump on his head. Because sometimes I feel like this thing, um, the warp pipe, I feel like it can move. But that one didn't move, so. Super. All right, what's down here? Did I shoot anything off? Nothing? So we've got a warp pipe here. I'm going to walk past it. And there's nothing past it. So let's take this warp pipe. Hopefully this isn't the end. Okay, so this just takes us to another portion of the level. It is, I think it is the end of the level. So this must be the boss of this level. Uh, oh, don't get crushed. Okay, I got you. What happens if something gets crushed? Do I have to make this thing explode or? Uh... Was that it? That was it. All right, so that was how, uh, that was the Fluff Puff Peak Flying Battleship. Pretty cool level. Um, I feel like there's only one purple coin though. One purple coin, one wonder seed. Let me check that out. Oh, maybe not. All right, Prince Lauren, what do you got? Scariest thing yet? I don't know. He says that was scary and it reminds him of what? A badge that helps you survive a fall. Huh. So we could get a badge that helps us survive a fall. I don't know what that means, helps you survive a fall, because you can usually fall pretty far and not die. So, okay, so there are three purple coins. I only got two of them. So let's go back in this level, and we know we're missing the third purple coin. Maybe it came up when I was in the Wonder Seed level or something like that. Fluff Puff Peaks Flying Battleship. We're looking for the third purple coin. And I guess, I don't know if there's anything like you have to get to the top of the pole. Like I didn't have a flagpole to get to. So let's explore a little bit more. We need that flower. Flowers are good. Now, all I've really got to do here is I just want to get to the midway point because um, I just want to explore and see what I could have missed. Oh, it just knocks them down. Okay. Whatever. Take that. Excuse me, buddy. Can you help me? Now, since it was the third one and... Um, pretty much did everything else in the level that it looked like was available. It's probably either it's see that one's up there. That's the first one. Um, it's got to be hidden up high at this point. That's what I'm thinking up in the clouds or something. You know, it doesn't hurt to look for an extra pole. I'm not going to go in there again because I think, yeah, that just was the second in here is the second of the coins. So that would have give us two coins. It's a flagpole. I wouldn't have touched that before. 
Oh yeah, I would have. I would have fallen out of that warp pipe. Okay, so we just get through here. So at this point, I've touched the flagpole. We would have the equivalent of two. That's the wonder seed. We're definitely not going to use that. Oh. Okay, get past that without knocking that down. We would have knocked this down because this is where it targets you. It may not target us though, just because we aren't doing the wonder seed level. Okay, so you can see here there's no target on us this time. So a little bit of a difference there. Okay, so we dealt with this guy. We would have dealt with all of this last time. Right? So I'm not seeing a third coin as of now. Okay, whatever. Fine, don't give us a third coin. Uh, I don't see any like real secrets or anything like that. I feel like it's gotta be... Can I push this? Ah. Okay, that didn't do any good. Ah, so there you go. You got to push, you got to push the uh, block over. So that's what I missed before. So there's the block. And I was thinking before, I was like, it'd be cool if this block went the other way. You got to make sure you push the block. That way you could get your third coin and it'll drop you off right at the end here. So you'll be able to beat this level pretty quickly afterwards. All you really got to do is run under two things like that's that's kind of silly i don't know if that's considered like a mid-level boss or anything like that but all you really had to do was run under a couple stompers jump on top of them and you're good to go all right so that should be everything in that level let's check it out boom we've got the uh green check mark <laughs> moving on up Look, this guy says, amazing. Thanks, Poplin. Absolutely amazing. Took out the flying ship like it was nothing at all. Yes, I did. Uh, Masked Meanie. Okay. So we got about three levels left to go. And it looks like there's a bit more up to the top right. So let's see how much more we could get done. Um, this is the the um, the Poplin shop where he was talking about a, the badge where if you fall, you won't die. So this is the safety bounce. Bounce back out of pits, lava, or poison swamps. What? That's pretty sweet. Once per fall, you get to survive? That's nuts. Why wouldn't anyone use that all the time? Oh, and look at that. A wonder seed. Boom. We'll buy the wonder seed as well. All right. Uh, yeah, let's try it. Let's try it. We'll do the bounce because I have a feeling that they want us to use it this time around. There must be something going on at these levels. Countdown to drop down. And we've got cruising with linking lifts. Okay, we are going to go through cruising with linking lifts next. We're using the badge that lets you die in a pit of lava or whatever and bounce back. So let's see if we could see how that works. Oh, you got to hit these things and then it links up. Oh, neat. So the, um, what do you call this? The, uh, the track disappears or falls apart as you're going. Um, so you have to continuously be hitting different track pieces as you go. So keep that in mind as you're playing. Ah! Just more coins. Oh no! So you need the elephant there. And I would say the reason is I don't know what that blue flower there does. And that to me is mildly concerning. So if you want to get to the blue flower, you may not be able to. Yeah, at this point, you really can't get to the blue flower 
Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna have to come back and see. Like if we don't beat this level fully, we're gonna have to come back and see what that blue flower would have done. So there's the wonder seed. Let's go get the wonder seed. <laughs> I just assumed <laughs> I just assumed it would warp you to a different level. <laughs> it doesn't. It does not warp you to a different level if you hit the Wonder Seed. Um, so keep that in mind. It just it just continues the level. Uh, so you got to continue not to die there, obviously. Okay, so we shoot this up. We get that. No. I missed my I missed my purple uh, miss my purple coin. I'm gonna have to die and start over because you don't want to miss the purple coin. You don't want to have to come back and do that. So let's let's try again. Yeah. At least I <laughs> at least I didn't die trying to go into a special wonder seed level that didn't exist that second time. So you got two choices here, right? You can either build this way. Or you could have used these pieces to jump higher. All right, there we go. So at least this time around, I've gotten... Was that the second coin or the third? Blocks are helpful. Those are spitting out. If you miss any of those then you are not going to be able to get your Wonder Seed. So here comes the Wonder Seed right at the end. I'm going to try and hit this last one too because I don't want to miss it and it'd be like, hey, you missed it, therefore you don't complete the level. Hopefully the flag's not here. All right, so we got the Wonder Seed. We got a purple coin in there as well. Um, hopefully that was only the second of the purple coins. If it's the second of the purple coins, then I'm in good shape on this level. So that must have been the third of the purple coins. So that blue flower that I missed must have absolutely been key. So I just struggled there at the end to get to the top of the flag as well. Uh, you don't want to rely on not completing the flag pull because you may not complete the level com like fully. Like I'll never know if I just don't have that green check mark unless I get to the top of the flagpole. So in order to make that happen, I'm gonna switch my badge to the floating high jump. Because at the end of the level, I think that floating high jump is going to end up being key to getting to the top of the flagpole. But the main thing to keep in mind, mid-level here, is that I need to get that purple. Um, I need to make sure that I give myself enough space. I don't know what I was thinking there. I gotta give myself enough space to get to that blue flower at the end. That was the first of the purple coin. No biggie there. See, I gotta get through this. I was so busy jumping before I didn't hit it like this. And then we got to bend over. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, it is important. You got to make sure you get to that um, blue flower. Because if you don't get to that blue flower, then you just can't fully complete the level. Ah. All right, so we're doing this a different way this time. Last time we went through the Wonder Seed, no Wonder Seed this time. Sometimes you can see if there's something different about the level this way, not using the Wonder Seed. Can't imagine there's too much difference here. Like as in like they might have uh, a special Wonder Seed hidden somewhere. Ah, missed it. Boom, got it. Oh, look at that, hidden purple coin. We will take it. 
Now this is where it gets sticky. I got to make sure I get to the top of that flagpole, which the top of the flagpole All right, I'm going to try, which thing do I have? I have the high bounce. All right. So what you could have done is just use these. No, I guess you couldn't have jumped higher off of them. So it's going to be key to land on these birds, right? Mm. Yeah, hold your, a, your B button as you're landing on the birds. That way you can bounce a little bit higher and get to the top of that flagpole. So we'll be able to see if we got 100% completion of this level. The key is getting to the top of the flagpole, or you'll actually never know if there's a hidden secret in a level that you that you just missed. So boom, we got the green watermark, so we're good to go. So that was cruising with linking lifts. I'm gonna try one more <coughs> before I get out of here. Try countdown to drop down. Countdown to drop down. Uh, badge, let's change our badge back since it's talking about drop down. I'm gonna try this safety bounce badge to see if this is the level that it's supposed to be handy in. Oh, look at that. The countdown is each time someone jumps on it, something lands on it, then it starts counting down, and then what happens? It just flips and starts over. Okay, no biggie. See, he's gonna have things land on it. No, the seeds don't land on it. Oh, there's a random tube. And look at that. That's our first purple coin. So one can land on it. So let's go. One. So you got to move fast. That's all. Just move fast. You got this. He's going to shoot off. Boop, 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 boop. Now we can go. So each of these says one. Um, that purple coin's up high. Ah, so you can land on the seeds. I don't know if there's fully a benefit to it. It doesn't look like there's anything else up there. All right, no real benefit, but keep in mind that you can use that as a way of jumping higher in case something else happens in this level that needs you to jump higher. Okay, so that gave us a cloud up there. I guess that's more so to prevent Oh, I was going to say to prevent the turtles, but it's so that you can go in. Um, well, that seems silly. All right. How am I going to get up on top of that? The pal was there. I threw it. <clears throat> and it didn't do anything. This is a part where it would really help to have a different badge or a teammate. I'm trying to think if there's another way I could possibly get up that. I would have thought when the pal hit the ground that things would have dropped. So this is unfortunate. I have not hit a flagpole yet. Let's see what happens when we go down here. If there's a flagpole here, let's go see if there's a flagpole. No flagpole. Well, you could see how that badge came in handy just then. There's the flagpole, okay. So, what I'm thinking is, I won't be able to get back if I die. All right, so we just gotta finish the level and start over to get that, that uh, extra piece. Disappointing. You need the, um, I think if you had the high jump, you would have been fine in this. You could, you could make an argument that it was more beneficial this time for me to have the uh, safety bounce, but. All right, so the benefit here of hitting these, oh, 
Okay. So I got to get down there. How am I supposed to get down there? How are you supposed to get down there? Safety bounce. Okay. <coughs> so what you're going to want to use is the safety bounce. So you're going to want to use safety bounce. You're going to want to use safety bounce, I guess, here. I'm trying to think how safety bounce could help me because I'm going to fall off the ledge. So you have to fall off the ledge properly. Bubbles, bubbles are good. Okay, so having the bubble thing is actually really good here. Cause look, you can bounce on your bubbles. That might be a good strategy. Bubbles are also good for, I was gonna say for locking up uh, some of these guys, but I guess not. So if my bubble Add blocks to the course. Okay. How do you add blocks to the course is a good question. I've never done this one where you have to add blocks to the course and been successful with it. Uh, so how do I add blocks to the course? Do they just appear? So the blocks don't just appear. Add blocks to courses. The blocks may act as extra platform, contain, and serve. How do you use them? I don't see how you add a block though. Which button combination am I supposed to be hitting? That's not it. See, it says blocks, like he's saying it above my head. All right, buddy, I hear you. I know what you're saying. How do you add blocks? Hmm. All right, I might have to just move on and try and figure out how to create blocks another time because I don't see how you create a block. So this level I'm gonna to have to play next time it looks like while I try and figure out how to create blocks. That way not everyone's sitting here like, how oh, you create blocks? There's gotta be a, a button combination I'm not doing. Oop. What in what other way can I? I know what to do. I don't know why I didn't think about that before. All right, so here we go. Let's get this star or not. So we're really just floating down. Oh, there's the seed. Okay. That was interesting, to say the least. That was an interesting level. 
to get our wonder seed. Took me a minute to figure that out though. I'm like, I'm thinking the whole time I need to use something special to get there. So there's nothing special you really have to use except for the cloud, which is available at all times. Deal with this guy in just a second. Oh, I missed him. Got him. So once again, we got to get into the cloud. Excuse me. So a lot of this level is, is about getting into the cloud. So I have a feeling I need to be up here Again, I feel like the um, pole's going to be here, and I need to get to the top of the pole quick. Uh, I'm not going to be able to make it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Yeah. All right. So I got to the top of the pole. And the only thing I have to worry about is getting to that coin in the middle of the level and then beating the level. So we've got everything else done. I don't know if there's any kind of secret level in here or secret wonder seed that we have to find. We're going to go back in real quick and get to that second purple coin. Once we get to that second purple coin, this level should be complete and I shouldn't have to worry about anything else. While I'm doing that, make sure you guys take a moment to subscribe and turn on your bell notifications. Let's change this badge now so I don't have to worry about it. We're doing the floating high jump. This is Super Mario Bros. Wonder. We are up to the Fluff Puff Peaks. This is, this is really what you would consider level two for the game or world two for Super Mario Brothers Wonder. It's fun, fun level, fun levels, fun game. Very good game to play with your kids too uh, or your friends. Sometimes it's beneficial to have multiple people in a level. Sometimes it's going to make it more difficult. This level, it would have, <coughs> it would have helped me at least achieve the, um, purple coin that's up here. You know, when you can bounce on somebody's head, it makes it a lot easier to jump higher. So we jump on this pal, jump up. Really? There we go. So I don't know what the benefit of the pal was then. Like it didn't do anything, it's just there. So let's go through and let's finish this level off to make sure that we've got that green watermark check. Make sure we are completely done with this level. This may just take a minute going back through. You don't have to do the wonder seed again unless you enjoyed doing that level. It was kind of cool. The wonder seed part. And I also don't have to worry about uh, getting to the top of the flagpole, so. It should be relatively smooth sailing at this point. You just don't want to like fall off the edge somewhere. And having the uh, elephant's good too, because then I can easily break things with my trunk. It's like a superpower for this thing. Excuse you. Burp. See how much easier it is with the elephant to just kind of whack things? Look, Prince Florian's like, oh wow, I can't believe you did that that quick. I think this just builds clouds. Yeah, that way when he throws his little uh, spiky guys down, you don't have to worry about it. First, we'll just take him out. <laughs> you see the clouds like, I can't believe you did that to him. More clouds so you can just go up there and grab the things you need, see? And then you just wait for the... Uh... Excuse me, buddy. You know what? It was easier once I was in here to get across. I must have done that a little too early. There he is. But this time, I feel like last time... As I was gonna say, I feel like last time I had... Um... Like some grounds you were uh, at least in. Excuse me. 
See, I wouldn't have been able to get to the top with, without the cloud. I didn't plan that right. But I don't have to worry about it too much because we already got to the top. And so we finished everything we need in this level. You just have to kind of go back and look at it. There were three purple coins. You got to make sure you have the high jump or your donut with a partner. We've got the two wonder seeds. Let's check it out. That was countdown to drop down. And we are all finished that level. Next time we play, we're going to have to come here and finish the zig go route. And then we get to the castle. A lot more fun to come in Fluff Puff Peaks. Make sure you guys are subscribed. You turn on those notifications. Super Mario Bros. Wonder. Check it out. It's a fun game. I appreciate you guys watching and taking the time. It's a very fun play for me. I enjoy this. So I will be back to finish off Fluff Puff Peaks another time. Thank you guys all so much for hanging out.